So to find the area of a triangle using decimals, all you have to do is utilize the same formula and then multiply and divide. So the formula for area of a triangle is one half of the base times the height. The flat side here, that is our base. So we're gonna write base and then the little b. The 3.4 is our height because it is measuring from the top to the bottom of the triangle. So that is our H. All we have to do is plug in the values for the, each of the variables within the formula. So instead of a little b, I'm gonna use 10.7. And instead of the 3.4 and the H here, I'm going to substitute the H over here for 3.4. Now, I'm going to take half of the base and then multiply it by the height. In order to take half of the base, all I have to do is take 10.7 and divide it by 2 because that is the same as multiplying by a half is dividing by its reciprocal, which is just 2. So I'm going to do 10.7 divided by 2. Whatever I get, I'm going to multiply by the height of 3.4. So I'm going to go top in, bottom out. Top, my numerator goes inside, so that's going to be 10.7. My denominator goes outside. Top, in, bottom, out. And then this decimal is just going to float straight up to the top and then it's gonna stay there. It's not gonna go anywhere else. It doesn't even exist anymore. So if we have a one, can we make groups of two? No. If I have 10, can I make groups of two? So I'm gonna utilize my multiplication facts and see how many groups of two can I make if I have 10. So if I have two groups of one, that's two. Two groups of two is four. Two groups of three is six. Two groups of four is eight. Two groups of five is 10, so I need a 10. This is exactly 10. How many groups of two did it take us to get to 10? It takes us five groups of two. Five groups of two is 10. Zero minus zero is zero. One minus one is also zero. I'm going to bring down the seven now. If I have seven, can I make groups of two? I can make one group, two groups, three groups, but I cannot make four groups because eight is greater than seven. So I'm gonna go back one. I can make three groups of two. Three groups of two is six. Seven minus six is one. Because this is a decimal and I have a remainder, you're not allowed to have remainders with decimals anymore. So I'm gonna add a zero and I'm gonna bring it down. You can add as many zeros as you need until you either run out of numbers or you have enough in your answer in which you can round to your nearest place value of whatever it says. If I have 10, can I make groups of two? Well, we already said right here that if I have 10, that's five groups of two. So I'm gonna put a five here. Zero minus zero is zero, and one minus one is also zero. So my answer is going to be 5.35. Now, remember, I have to take that 5.35 and multiply it by the height. So this is a multiplication problem now. So we have 5.35 times 3.4. Okay, so the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of those decimals. So I'm gonna take the decimals out. They're gonna go one, two decimal places here and one decimal place here. All together, I have three decimal places. So in my final answer, those three decimal places still have to be represented. So my answer is going to have three decimal places because two plus one is three. Four times five is 20. Put a two up top and the zero down below. Four times three is 12 plus two is 14. So I'm gonna put a four down below and I'm gonna carry a one. 4 times 5 is 20, plus 1 is 21. Because I am done with this 4, I'm going to mark it out. I am moving over one place value. So in order for me to move over one place value, I need to put a placeholder right here. That's saying that I'm moving over to my tenths place now. 3 times 5 is 15, so I'm going to put a 5 and I'm going to carry a 1. 
3 times 3 is 9, plus 1 is 10. So I'm going to put a 0 and carry a 1. 3 times 5 is 15, plus 1 is 16. So I'm going to drop a 16 right here. Do you see how there's an empty spot right here? You can put a 0 there. It's just going to help you line numbers up and have a more accurate place value. Now I'm going to add these together. 0, 4 plus 5 is 9, 1 plus 0 is 1, 2 plus 6 is 8, and 0 plus 1 is 1. Remember those decimals that I took out up here and I said we had to put them back in at the end? So that's one, two, three decimal places. So I start all the way to my right and I go one, two, three. Right here is where my decimal is going to go. Because this ends in a zero, I can actually mark it out because it's just a placeholder. I don't need it anymore. So my answer is gonna be 18.19. So my area for this triangle is 18 and 19 hundredths kilometers squared. It takes a few steps to get there, but as long as you follow them and you do everything the way you're supposed to, you should be okay to go.